Hi guys, it's Harry. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the new Halloween and Christmas product release from Lush. I haven't been in Lush in ages, but the minute I knew they were bringing out their Halloween and Christmas collection, I was like, I'm going right in there. And I actually went in super early in the morning. Um, so they have some amazing new products out for Halloween and Christmas this year. They've got a few of their old kind of like favourite ones, which I'm so happy about. So basically, I've got two bags full of stuff. I don't know why I did four. <laughs> I've never been good at maths, so I've got two bags full of stuff and I've also written down the Halloween and Christmas names of stuff and all of the scents, like all the ingredients that they include because I am horrible at describing scents, like I just can't do it. So if you're interested in seeing what is out at Lush at the moment for Halloween and Christmas, then please keep watching. So here we have the first bag. I'm going to start off with Halloween products first because it just makes more sense to do it in some kind of order. So the first thing I have here is the pumpkin, um, the glittery pumpkin bubble bar. Oh my god. I had this last year and it is the cutest thing ever. I'm getting so much glitter on my fingers already. I know a lot of people don't really like glitter in their bath because it's a mess to clean up. But every now and then I think it's quite nice to have a glittery bath. I don't know if that's just me. Um, but I love this. It's very floral scented. Normally I don't really like floral scents. This definitely isn't my favourite scent from Lush, but I do really, so really like it. So next up I have just this large orange pumpkin. It looks like this. It's really, really cute. It's just got a little pumpkin face carved out into it. This is quite a large bath bomb and this is £4.25. This smells... Oh, you know when you inhale it too much and you can't breathe. This has cinnamon and vanilla in it. I know that's straight away. You could definitely smell kind of like the spices and stuff in it. I've never had this one before. I think this is brand new to Lush, so I'm really excited to try it out. It looks quite a large one, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of product in there. But I think it's so cute. <laughs> Next up, I have the Bewitched Bubble Bar. <laughs> this is the cutest. I love it so much. It's a little, like, cat face. <laughs> I think it's so cute. This is also £4.25. And Bubble Bars, basically, I didn't explain. If you've never used Lush products before, then you probably won't know I don't know but a bubble bar you can basically get several baths out of them because you just break them and crumble them and under running water so this I could probably use about four times so I could probably get about four baths out of this um so I'm quite excited I actually picked up two of these because I thought they were really cute so I'm actually getting eight baths but <laughs> How cute is this little sparkly pink pumpkin bubble bar? That's literally what it's called as well. This actually smells the same as the glittery orange one, although I feel like this is a little bit sweeter. I don't know why. So this is the Monster's Ball bath bomb. Look how cute. Everything's so cute. Why is everything so cute? This is actually a little bit more expensive. This is £4.50, but again, it's quite a large one. This smells kind of very citrusy. You can smell like citrus, um, particularly like lime in this. And when I was speaking to the woman that worked in the last shop, she said that this is like really, really great for moisturising your skin. Next up, I've got the Ectoplasm Bath Bomb. This is £4.95. This is literally insane. So we had a little demo shown to us in the shop. And basically, when this kind of like dissolves, explodes, whatever, it creates like a silky layer on top of the water. And if any of you have ever tried like any of Lush's kind of like shower jellies and stuff, it pretty much comes out like that, like the top layer. It is insane. It leaves skin mute feeling so soft like so I had to pick it up but um other than that it's a normal bath bomb now we're gonna move on to the Christmas ones that makes me so happy because I just love Christmas so much here I have the milky bath bubble bar now this actually isn't a Christmas scent I don't think but it's kind of got like glitter and stuff on the top so I just throw it in there because it didn't really fit into a Halloween category you know but basically this has got orange oil in it and it smells incredible this is actually, without a doubt, one of my favourite, like if I had to have a top five of Lush bath products, this is up there. It smells insane. So this is the Christmas sweater bath bomb and this was £4.50 and I think this is adorable. It's got two like little ranges on the front. Um, this actually had some weird ingredients in, I believe, so I'm going to get my list. Um, it says it has Sicilian lemon oil with mustard and ginger powders. <laughs> so apparently this is to give the bath some warmth. I get like the mustard powder and stuff is to give the bath warmth. I think that's a really cool idea and don't let me saying it has mustard powder in there put you off because it literally smells so, so, 
so good. <laughs> This is the Christmas Cracker Bubble Bar. <laughs> How cute is this? This is £5.95. So this is, I think, the most expensive one that I picked up. This smells incredible. It also has popping candy inside, which is what kind of makes the crackling, kind of like crackle noise when it hits the bath. So I love cute little things like that, like little gimmicks that have stuff inside. Oh no, we've got a little situation. <laughs> I got the man in the moon bubble bar, but his eye and his moustache has fallen off. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's try and rescue this. I'm gonna perform some life enhancing, life enhancing, threatening surgery. Well, basically, if I turn it, it's gonna fall. It's supposed to look like this, but it doesn't, so it's a one-eyed man. <laughs> I've then got this golden pear soap. How freaking cute. It's basically a glittery pear. I'm in love. So this was £6.50, I believe. Yeah, it's £6.50. This is quite expensive, like I know it is, but this lasts for a really, really long time. Even just by touching it now, I know that this is gonna be super moisturizing. Here we've got one of my favorite Lush products of all time. This is the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. This is insane. This is £3.25 and I'm so glad they've bought it back this Christmas. I think they've had it for the last two or three Christmases, but oh my god so this is super super sweet so if you love sweet scents you need to jump on board like you need to get this uh this basically has like vanilla in it i absolutely love it and i think the kind of color theme of the pastel pink with the white is super adorable and it just kind of matches what it's trying and to do. last but not least how cute is this <laughs> This is the snowman bubble room. So basically you crumble this under running water This really helps to kind of like make the skin feel super like silky and smooth I think it's got like little chocolate chips or something down here <laughs> I'm a fan. So I'm very excited to try this one I can't remember if I've used this before or if this is brand new like to Lush I know they've had a snowman bath bomb or something along those lines before but I think this may be new I don't know, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the new Halloween and Christmas Lush collection. I think this actually came out on the 6th of October, so I wanted to get this out to you guys as quick as possible. If you've got any more questions about the products, I will leave a link to the Lush website down below. And also, if you go into store, their staff are so friendly. Like, I feel like they're just like renowned for their staff to be really friendly. So definitely like don't forget to ask them anything because they're probably gonna be able to describe these scents much better <laughs> than I ever could. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing more from me, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I'd love to have you here. Also give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to check the description box where I will also leave my usernames to my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm really, really active on there all the time. Come and follow me and I can kind of follow you guys and everything. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.